So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is, is an example of basically what I want you to do is to be able to graph this. Now, um, in this function, you guys see we have y equals 2 to the x. And all I wanted you guys to do is basically create a table of values. So all we're simply going to do is plug in each of these values in for x. Now, I think it's easiest to first use the positive numbers, and then we'll get to our negative numbers. Yes. OK? Yes. OK. So the first thing you're going to plug in 2 to the second power, which I think everybody would be familiar with, which is going to give you 2 squared, which is 4. If you do 2 to the first power, that's going to give you um, 2. 2 to the 0 power, a lot of students forget. But remember, any time you have a base raised to the 0 power, that's going to give you 1. Then the rule of exponents that a lot of us forgot is remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a negative exponent, to make that negative exponent positive, you've got to rewrite it as a reciprocal. So if I have 2 to the negative first power, to rewrite that as a positive exponent, I need to put that over 1, or as its reciprocal. So now it's going to be 1 over 2 to the first power, which is 1 half. So negative 1 is actually going to produce negative 1 half. And negative 2 is actually 1 over 2 squared. Right? Would you guys agree with that? OK. So the rules of exponents, which we've already covered, state that x to the negative power, to make that, to get rid of that being a negative exponent, you have to put it in the reciprocal. So see how this is in the numerator? To make it positive, you put it in the denominator. Yeah. So in this case, if I have 2 to the negative first power, if I want to make that 1 positive, I have to rewrite it in the denominator. So now it's 1 over 2 to the first power. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now we know it's 2 to the first power. That's just 2. So the answer is 1 half. So here, to make the 2 positive, I put it in the denominator. Now, what is 2 squared? 4. So it's 1 fourth. So now let's plot our points. Well, we have 0, 1, which is right there. 1, 2. You have 2, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have negative 1 is at 1 half. Negative 2 is at 1 fourth. So you have a graph that kind of looks like a little boomerang, we could probably say. Rather than a line or a U or a V, we kind of sell this. 